Hey, what's up guys? This is Jim again. I have some great news. My solar system is finally up and running. I've been off grid for three days now and I have a lot of other videos in the mix that I've been working on. So I haven't had time to really dive into this yet and, and show you guys what's going on. But I also have just been kind of troubleshooting, watching, just checking it out, seeing how it's working before I actually declare it uh, fully functional. And after three days of being off grid, I can say it looks like it is working. Uh, the output isn't quite as high as what I had thought. I'm getting about four kilowatts for my solar panels, which are supposed to be uh, peak 11 kilowatts. So I was expecting a little bit better. I've seen up to seven kilowatts, but right now it is full sun. It's right around one o'clock and we're getting only around four and a half kilowatts. We'll check it out here in a second, I'll show you. So then the other hang up was, the reason it took so long to finally get this whole system working is a couple things. In my last video, I, I talked about some troubles I was having and you can go back and watch that video. I've been trying to move past that and not dwell on that anymore because uh, it is finally working. But the inverter, the settings were just really complicated and I, I wasn't able to figure it out. So I wrote Princeton Power a few times and they did get back to me and the last email was awesome, super helpful and explained a lot of the different settings. I'm so excited, very happy for their help. Now I'll take you in a little bit closer. I'll show you what I have going on. So first off, this has to be one of the most efficient ways to charge an EV. So right now what I have going on is the power coming down from the solar panels going into the inverter, which is right there. It's a NEMA, I think three rated inverter, so it can be outside. And then I have the power cable going to the T-Rex. But what I built over here for situations just like this, I have these couple Anderson connectors. So what I'm doing right now is I'm keeping this in parallel. So both the T-Rex and the RAV4 are both in parallel and acting as one large storage bank for the solar panels. So normally when I travel, uh, this connector is connected to this connector, but as you can see, I just have these two in the middle. So that means I have roughly 80 kilowatt hours of storage right now. And I'm gonna show you on the inverter, it might be hard to see because the display is a little dark in the in full sun. See if you can see that. So the solar panels are giving me three kilowatts and you can see the arrows. And part of that's going to the house. So my load is using 0.5 kilowatts and I'm getting 0.6 kilowatts to the batteries. Pretty neat. All right, and hopefully you can see this. This is my tablet that I use when I'm taking road trips and stuff like that. This is connected to a car loop OBD2 dongle that's in the RAV4 and then another one in the T-Rex. So I just refreshed both of these and it's gonna show the stats for each. So for the T-Rex, I have 1.8 amps going into that and the battery has 19.7 kilowatt hours in it. And when we started this morning, I think it only had like five. So all of that is from today. Temperatures and voltage all look good, very close to each other. And the RAV4 is getting slightly higher of a charge right now. It's getting 3.9 amps. And that's because my wife took it for a spin earlier today and it's still balancing a little bit. So it's the, the RAV4 actually had a little bit less of a charge. I think it was about 25 volt difference between the two. So it's still balancing, but they're both charging and balancing at the same time. This one has 16.1 kilowatt hours in the RAV4. And again, temperatures look good and voltages are all identical to each other. So there you have it. Solar system is up and running. So excited. <laughs> it's It's been a long time. I think we started this about two months ago, something like that. And, and now it's finally done. It's working great. I love that I can do this with the car and with the T-Rex. That's a lot of storage. And another awesome thing about this T-Rex is if I ever get into a bind, it's in the winter and I don't have power, I could tra trailer this somewhere 
and go get power and bring it home. So I'm really excited. This is finally all coming together. This has been my plan since starting the T-Rex years ago that I could have this for home energy storage and go pick up energy if I need to. So very excited. I'm wondering about the solar panel output though. It's, it definitely seems low and it's full sun midday. I really thought it'd be higher. So if any of you guys know about that, just please comment below. Let me know if that's normal. I really thought I'd get, I mean, at least five, six. I, I, I was hoping I'd get closer to the rated output, especially on a day like today. So is that normal? Is it not normal? Uh, should I add more panels? Uh, let me know what you guys think I should do because I don't know the solar side quite as much. So any input would be would definitely be helpful. But if you have any questions for me about this project or my other projects, feel free to comment below. Of course, you can always like and subscribe if you want to. And I do have my giveaway coming up for the spot welder. Thank you guys so much for getting me to a thousand subscribers. I just haven't had time to make a video on that. And I really wanted to make a proper thank you video and give that away to somebody. So for now, there's still a chance to get in on that. And in order to get my spot welder, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed. Watch my spot welder review video that I'll link below in the comments. Watch that video, and if you still want it, then comment below that video and say, I'll take it, or I want it. And I'm gonna pick one of those people who comment there. Then all you have to do is pay for shipping, and it's yours. But I guess that's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again for getting me to 1,000 subscribers. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying this content. See ya.